Hi students, welcome back. Let me take another example to explain whether the given grammar is ambiguous or not. So from the above grammar, I'm just taking the string like uh, id plus id minus id. So this is a string. So this string can be uh, can be derived in two ways. Okay. So first, let me take one way. That is the left. I'm using the leftmost derivation. So the e starting string is, uh, sorry, the starting symbol is e. So e can be substituted with e plus e. So the, this is a leftmost derivation. So in place of e, I can write id. So here e. So the next, uh, this is a terminal. So don't touch it. And plus this is also terminal. Now coming to the non-terminal. So this e, I replace with e minus e. So next I replace the first non-terminal with id because e determines id. So in place of e, I am writing id. And finally, I will get id plus id. Sorry, this is also id. So here I am just drawing the parse tree also so that you can easily understand this the given grammar can be uh, generating uh, deriving two parse trees. First, e plus e next e is replaced with id next this e is re, uh, replaced with e minus e and again this e is replaced with id and this is id now coming to the second second way this is also leftmost derivation so in place of e plus e i am taking this production e minus e so this is the leftmost derivation so first target on this left uh, non-terminal so in place of e i'm writing e plus e because this is a string i want to get so e plus e minus e so here what is the first uh, leftmost non-terminal this is the leftmost non-terminal so replaced e with id plus e minus e so next non-terminal is this replace e with id minus e last non-terminal replace e with id id okay so this i can represent it in a diagram like this first e e minus e so this e again i do, uh, replaced with e plus e and this is id 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 so the same string i represented in two ways Okay, the same string I represented in two ways. So let me take one more example. So by seeing this example, you will get a clear idea and you will be very confident on that whether the grammar uh, that they are given is ambiguous or not. You can easily find it out. Check whether the given grammar is ambiguous or not ambiguous or not so what is the grammar let me take the grammar s determines a s b or you can substitute with s s s determines epsilon so these are the productions now let's start the problem so for the string i am taking the string as a a b b let me take this string okay so for the string a a b b the above grammar can generate two path trees so how let's see starts with the start symbol s the s i'm replacing with s s s i'm replacing with s s so this s i can replace with epsilon epsilon means empty so nothing is there so just you can forget it so this s i am replacing with the first production a s b so i got this a and b still another uh, a b i need to get so again i am dividing this i am substituting this s with a s b a s b okay so these are all terminals the only non terminal that is remaining here is the s so this s i am replacing with epsilon so what the string that you get uh, forget about the epsilon because epsilon is empty a a b b you got the string yes 
so let me take the another type of representation here start with the start symbol so instead of uh, this production i am taking asb a s b so the first a second last b i got it so now i am again this replacing s with a s b so a a b b so the string i uh, i read this string so this s is replaced with epsilon empty string so this is another way of representing the path string for the given input so here i uh, i'm going to get the two different types of uh, path trees for the same input so this grammar is having the ambiguity this is an ambiguous whatever the grammar they are given this grammar is a ambiguous grammar thank you